Well, it's 20 past two. <laughs> My target was to have all this done by half past two. I'm not done bad though. This was an absolute pig, this windowsill. I think it's because it was on wood and it was flat. So I've just got this little bit in the left in the corner to do. The question is, can I get that done in the next 10 minutes and get it cleaned up? If I hadn't cleaned up, I'd definitely have done it. And I could have cleaned up afterwards, but I like to clean up as I go along. So, uh, looking good. Good day's work there. Hopefully Pete's gonna do me another five uh, buckets of uh, gravel in payment. Let's see how it goes. Every day's a bonus. I'm back around at Pete and Tamsin's. I've not been for three weeks because they were going to paint the walls and paint the cupboard doors, etc. So this is before I've actually started today. Got one or two jobs, which I'll show you as I go along, but I just thought I'd give you a quick pan round of where we are at before I start today. Last time I came around, I took all the tiles off, if you remember. But since then, all the cupboard doors have been painted, looking really lovely and uh, had new knobs and handles on. And I think you'll agree, they look completely different. So when this tiling's been done, it'll look even better. So there we go. Let's uh, crack on, shall we? Every day's a bonus. I'm back at Pete's, just going to put a few rows of tiles on in this corner just to see how they go. Catch you later. Making good progress, uh, a lot of cutting out here for the sockets and what have you, but uh, it's all coming together good. I'm going to go home for some uh, lunch and I'm going to catch this later because I need to open a new uh, tub of tile cement but uh, yeah really really pleased with the way it's going every day's a bonus well that's the first four uh, rows done quite pleased with that they look good i will obviously need to grout and i need to straighten those sockets up i've loosened them but uh, once I've done that, it'll be fine. And I've just got one more row along the top to go, but I haven't brought my plastic trim. So when I bring the trim, I can do that. And then I can start working my way around. Because you've got loads of tiles, because you've got a lot to do. Around there, across the window, in this corner, and then back round here and up to there. I'm going to plaster this all around here because it's uh, it's a bit too much. But I've got some uh, plaster I'm going to get from uh, the range and I'll sort that out. Every nice bonus. Just a quick visit to Pete's this morning. Taking the spacers out and tightening the sockets back up. So sockets tested and safe and ready to use. I've brought the trim round, so next week I can nip round and put that next row of tiles on there, put the trim on the top and work my way around. Every day's a bonus. Back at Pete and Tamsin's, I've put the last row of tiles on this uh, back wall here and also put the edging strip on and I've started to put the tiles on this wall here coming up to the window. It's quite tricky, I've had to measure it to actually get it right for the edging strip uh, and also think about how I'm going to do it across the windowsill there and while I was at it I took this beading off here because it was uh, 
all over the place and it's going to give me a neater edge along this window when I come to do that. So there we go. Doesn't look like I've done a lot. I'm going out for some lunch now, but uh, it's a lot of thought gone into it. And sometimes if you don't think hard and measure it and get it right, it can look a mess. Every day is a bonus. Back after lunch, there was a gap, quite a big gap between the tiles here because there was a piece of wood underneath. So I put some more wood or some hardboard at the back of this and uh, nailed it on well to the old sill. So that is now going to be level when I come to put the next tiles on there. So I won't need to put loads and loads of filler or anything and it'll also stick to it. So next job of the day is to get another couple of rows along here. If I can get these uh, in, put a few in the window as well, and then I can start putting this, uh, this trim on the edge. Every day's a bonus. Well, back at Pete and Tamsin, it's been uh, an interesting afternoon. So Pete came round and said, uh, Dad, why have you put the trim on top of the fifth row? I thought we were having it six rows high. And I said, why is that? He said, because six rows on this side will take it just up to the cupboard, if you remember. Hmm, good point. So I'm uh, taking the top trim off, the plastic trim that is, like uh, this. And uh, I put another row on there and that looks nice now. And I've started coming around the window. Uh, now I know how I'm going to do it. Put some on the inside, got it all ready for the trim there. I put the first row down and start to the second row. I thought I'd best go and get some more tiles. It's a small problem. To negate Pete these tiles, see the difference. The other five boxes are marbled. Oh dear, every day's bonus. Thursday the 12th of October, nine o'clock. Do some more tiling today. So this is uh, how it is before I start the day. Let's see how we go, a little bonus. Well, that's the next stage done. It's taken a full box of tiles, that has. And there we go. So we're going home for some lunch now. Next job will be the windowsill. If I can get the windowsill done today, it'll be a bonus. Because every day is a bonus. Tuesday the 17th of October. This is the starting point for today. I've just taken all the spacers out. Look at all those, goodness me, I was busy the other day. So the plan for today is to finish this windowsill off. A lot of cut in there and hopefully get into this corner up to there. If I can get all that done today, it's a bonus. Catch you later. Well, it's been a tricky morning. Just over an hour it uh, took me to just cut all these tiles for the window sill. I've also cut the ones up for the side and cut the trim for the side which was also very tricky and I've got enough uh, to go along the bottom row there. So I'm going for some lunch and when I get back I'll crack on. Every day's a bonus. Thursday the 19th of October this is the starting point for today. The other day I managed to uh, get all of the windowsill tiled and I think now you'll agree that looks a lot better. I've got the edge done there and I've started into the corner. So today I want to finish that corner off and I want to start putting some filler into this wall here in the bad bits, particularly down here. 
and around that socket so I can get uh, that tiled on my next visit. So let's get all these spaces out. It's the first job. Starting to take shape. And we're going to start routing. Every day is a bonus. Well, first job of the day done. All the spaces are out. Give the tiles a quick polish. All ready for grouting. All come out of there okay. And I've finished this corner off. And I'm quite pleased with the way that's gone. It's very difficult because the walls are all out. Uh, it's a 1930s house. And you have to tile to the eye um, properly. You can't always tile to the actual wall that's out. So you have to do the best you can. And I think that's gone okay. So the truth will be when I come to grout it. So let's get on with the next job. Get some filler in this wall. Every day's a bonus. Tuesday the 24th of October. This is the starting point of today. Hopefully I'll get a lot of tiles on this back wall here. I might have to do some more filling on this here. I'll have to see what it's like. But that's the plan of action. Catch you later. Well, that's not a bad day's work. I've got a lot more done than I expected to. Are you ready for this? All the way around. Up to the cupboard. All done. Just need to let that dry, grout it, and I'll put the sockets back on because I had to uh, loosen them off to get the tiles behind. So, apart from grouting and a few tiles and this bit, the side of the cupboard down there to the floor, I'm nearly there. Every day is a bonus. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Well, this is my starting point today. So take all these out and get these sockets back on and take it from there. Well, that's all looking good. Socket straightened up, fastened back, that one there. All ready for grouting. So this is my next job now. Just down here, between this uh, tall cupboard we put in and the doorway, I'm going to tile it because it's going to be easier to tile that and I've got some spare tiles rather than plaster it and paint it. But I'm only going to come up to that same level there, as you can see. So uh, let's crack on and I'll show you how I've gone on afterwards. Every day's a bonus. Well, that's it for today. All those spaces out, socket straightened up. Well, look at this. That's better, isn't it? And that is exactly, exactly the same height as the other side of the cupboard. Does that look, judgment or a fluke? I think it was a fluke. I mean, if it hadn't been the right height. Well, that's the side of this cupboard and the door frame done. Look at that, exactly, exactly the right height. Is that look, judgment, or a fluke? Oh, would you look down there? If it hadn't been right, I'd have put some spaces between the skirting board and that bottom tile. But uh, that's a lot better, once so that's grouted. And once that's painted, it'll be fine. So that's it for today. I need to put a new socket on there. And then really, I just need to grout. If I just come across to this side here, I'm not happy with uh, 
back there I broke the tile as I was putting it on and I'm not happy with that one either so and we do replace those two tiles and then that's all the tiling done it'll just be grouting every day's a bonus well this is a starting point today I'm just taking all the spaces out of there I'm going to put some grout in and just see how it goes on it's some uh, grout that I've not used before it's actually uh, mix it up but it's uh, Bahama beige so I've just mixed them up there as you can see and let's uh, let's give it a try see how we go every day's a bonus well that's the first bit of grouting done what do you reckon I think I have to clean it up now make sure it looks all right I'll take a picture in a minute that's the first bit of grouting done I just need to let that dry and then I can polish the tiles up to get any residual dust the grout. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. Let's crack on. Every day's a bonus. Right, that's the next uh, wall done. That's all grouted. Just got to wait for that to dry off and then I can polish the tiles. And I'm going to work my way around the corner and take it from there. Every day's a bonus. A quick recap, I've grouted those tiles inside the door frame. I've done this corner here, all the way around there, all the way there up to the window, and I've done the side of the window, and I've done just up to the end of the sink. So I think that's all good. So I've just now got this side of the sink to do, that side of the window, up to the corner, and across the back wall, and then that's the grouting done. That could probably be on Thursday. Every day's a bonus. Let's have a quick look at that. That looks cracking. Every day's a bonus. Starting point of the day. I want to finish this window off. Up the side and into the corner. If I can get that done by lunchtime, it'll be good. If I can get across there, it'll be even better. Because there's only that much to do. Let's crack on. Every day's a bonus. Well, it's time to go for some lunch. Let's just see what I've done today. Finish the window saw. Finish the side off. Up to the corner. Round the corner. And up to the sockets. So, yeah, it's all looking good. I'll come back afterwards and finish this corner. And then we're done, apart from the trim. Every day's a bonus. Well, that's a quick recap for today. And I'll be grouting from halfway across the window, along that edge, along this back wall, all the way across there. So apart from the trim on the bottom, on the top of those tiles there, that is it for today. I'll come back soon, every day is a bonus. starting point today is to get some trim and put it across the bottom edge here all the way around and seal it catch you later well that's all the trim on all the way around the kitchen I'm pleased the way that is I'm going to put some silicon at the top and the bottom just to seal it just to protect it so it just doesn't come off I think that's good. And Ben put the new sink in, the ceramic sink. That's lovely, doing a cracking job of that. And then all I've got to do is touch up a few bits of grout where it's dried back. But I can do that later. Every day's a bonus, nearly there. Well, that's the ceiling done. And the beading, I'm really pleased with that. All the way around, under the window, and up into the corner, and round, and down, and even down there. So I've just got this along here to do now. Let's see how we go.
Oh, that's the trim put on the top of this wall and this one here. So, as far as I'm concerned now, kitchen is done. Just need our Pete to give this another coat of paint and to give the cobing a coat of paint. And uh, the kitchen will be done. Apart from a new bit of skirting board down there. But, uh, massive transformation, I'm sure you'll agree. Better pack my stuff up and go home. Every day's a bonus. <laughs>